Welcome to the Integrity Training Kit Assembly video. In this video we will be taking you step by step through the process of assembling the Integrity Training Kit. Everything you need to assemble the kit is included within. Let's get started. Chapter 1. Unboxing. The Integrity Training Kit consists of printed training guides and manuals, a switchboard, two cipher cards, a standard LAN access module referred to as a SLAN, an integrity security controller referred to as the ISC, two cipher readers, a siren board, two accessory kits, a power cable and adapter, an Elitex keypad, a packet of cables and blocks for the training kit, and a black perspex stand that we will be building the training kit on top of. Chapter 2. Blocking the Cables Starting with Cable 1, terminate each pigtail into a four-way terminal block in the manner shown, paying careful attention to the location each of the colored cables is positioned. Repeat this with each of the included cables as shown on screen. Pause the video here if needed. Feed the cables through the hole on the black Elitex back plate and terminate the pigtails into two four-way terminal blocks in the layout shown, then clip the back plate onto the keypad's faceplate. Chapter 3. Installing the standoffs. Install the four large standoffs onto the Postbex stand in the positions shown by feeding the screws through the back of the stand and screwing the standoffs down. Repeat this process with the four small standoffs by screwing them into the positions shown at the top of the perspex stand. Chapter 4. Installing the cipher readers. Place a cipher reader backplate onto the postbex stand and screw it into place as shown. Feed the cipher reader cable through the backplate's hole and clip the cipher reader down into place. Then bring the cipher cable up through the hole in the center of the postbex stand and drape it over the bottom of the stand. Repeat this process for the second cipher reader. Chapter 5. Installing the SLAM. Place the SLAM board onto the four small standoffs at the top of the postbex stand. Connect the reader RS485 cable in the position shown and feed it under the SLAM, leaving it at the bottom of the postbex stand. Connect the LAN RS485 cable in the position shown and feed it under the SLAM, leaving it positioned at the bottom of the postbex stand.
connect the read inputs into the two positions shown and leave the cable down the middle of the board. Chapter 6. Installing the ISC. Place the ISC board onto the four large standoffs. Next, connect both ends of the battery lead cable into the positions shown. Then connect the auxiliary cable into the position shown. Next, connect the LAN cable into the position shown. Feed the Elite X cable through the hole on the bottom right of the Postbex stand and lay the cable in a T-shape on top of the ISC board. Making note to keep the cable position going between the pins at the bottom of the ISC board. Ensure the blue-white-red-black cable is on the left of the ISC board, as shown. Mount the switchboard in place on the ISC board. Connect the Elite X blocks onto the two positions shown. Chapter 7. Block the Cypher Readers. Take the Cypher Reader cables and terminate the pigtails into two four-way terminal blocks as done with previous blocks. Making note of the exact pigtail placement into the blocks. Once the reader cables have been blocked, connect them into the appropriate location on the switchboard as shown. These blocks can be placed onto the appropriate pins in any order. Chapter 8. Plug everything in. Take the reader RS485 block and connect it into the top location as shown. Take the auxiliary cable and connect it into the location as shown. Take the read cable and connect it into the location as shown. Take the slam line block and connect it into the location as shown. Take the ISC LAN cable and feed it under the controller before plugging it into the location as shown. Take the siren module and connect it into the ISC board as shown. Clean up the cabling for the Elite X keypad by feeding it through the hole and place it on the Perspex stand. Optionally attach the included Velcro to the back of the keypad and Postbex stand to hold the Elite X keypad in place. Chapter 9. Secure the boards. Lastly, screw down the boards using the nylon hex nuts to finish the assembly of the integrity training kit.
you have now completed the Integrity Training Kit assembly. To get started on the training, head to the Inner Range Training Portal at moodle.innerrange.com.